All right, hello and welcome back. Oh, but first, close your eyes. Don't look at the screen. All right, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Mame game. Today's No Name Mame game is, of course, Makujima by Irem. You might remember them from a little game called The Prototypes of Metal Slug. Oh, was that like a little level select thing there? That would have been pretty sweet. But first, the story behind Maker Game. And now we finally get to get started. It's not too often that like any of those little puzzle games get any sort of context. I'm assuming the context is, of course, you are commanded by your supreme being to gorge yourself on ice cream treats. So it's a typical walkabout uh, top-down puzzle game. You've got a uh, nice little shot with the, one, the first button. So as you see, you start shooting um, candy corns at them. Rainbow candy corns. And then when you walk up to a guy, you can just press the button and you kick him. You also make a little ice bridge, which is convenient for you. Well, that was a teensy bit surprising. The second button, well, you see, we're surrounded by, um, terrible little ice guys and you can't get out with A. You press B and... I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. But as you can see, the end effect is a uh, little ice barrier. Well, I mean, it stops you. Does it stop the enemies? Let's see. Get in here now. Oh, well, alright. So it stops enemies. So you can just kind of hole away and uh, hide. Now, if you haven't quite noticed, there's a timer at the top. You can't kill the enemy generators. Gauntlet. This, um... It's got a time limit, so you can't just kind of mess around all day. I'm not entirely sure if the objective is to get all the magical sparkly bags or to gorge yourself on ice cream. I'm pretty sure the Supreme Being told you to get the uh, sparkly bags, but at the same time, I mean, what's a little gorging amongst friends? Oh, bombs. Why, why you gotta do that? I still love the non sequitur. Dream! What? <laughs> Why is that even there? Oh, okay. Well. So, immediately we found... Well, we found out what springs do, and we found out what the game over screen looks like. Oh, cool. <laughs> I wish the animation... Like, it showed the animation of you putting the coin into the pig every time. It'd be pretty great. So let's see, can we out with the springs? That we can. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, okay. Lucked out there. Whoa, no! I'm beginning to notice a problem with this. Well... I was a little conflicted there. I mean, was it gonna be a good thing or a bad thing? But, oh, duh! The other mechanic. I don't know, sometimes it, it takes a little while to figure out all the mechanics of these games, and more importantly, how the mechanics interplay with amongst themselves. Right here, the trick is to make a water bridge, but not die in the process. It's surprisingly hard. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna blame the controls, even though this is an arcade stick and it's working just fine. Controls hoy. I'll play the blame game. Oh, are those whale candy treats? Nice. Thousand points. Oh my god, it's just gonna flood the screen with enemies. This is not going so great. So yeah, I mean, it seems to be deriving a lot of its difficulty just because... Just from, like, all of the crazy chaos that just <laughs> results. Although, a nice, subtle little touch. Is that the stage in the shape of a little teapot. So at least, at the very least, you can admire that while you're uh, admiring the game over screen. Oh, come on. I wanted to see you put coins in the pig. I feel gypped. 
that being said, I mean, for <laughs> where I found it, it was kind of listed as, quote, Mako game, M-E-Y-C-O -E game, and it just kind of seemed to be a little bit, um, I don't know, orphaned. Like, nobody really liked this game. But, uh, playing this, I mean, sure, it's not the best game ever, and it's a little trippy at times, but on the other hand, I mean, it's not so bad. It's a nice little puzzle game. The mechanics are kind of straightforward. I don't see why you would, like, hate it so much. I mean, I can understand if maybe it was listed like that, like, they didn't really know anything about it. Hmm. Well, you can move the hammer by uh, pressing it, by pressing the kick button, which is also the shoot button. Um... Oh, are you- are you serious? You're supposed to lure an enemy up to- well, okay, you can use the hammer, and then you freeze some poor chump who's over here, and then you run in quickly. You kick him up to the hammer, and you kick him to the right. Seems simple enough. Now let's put it into practice. Well, that worked out a bit better than expected, even. Now we just need to dodge the spiky. Well, we can always wait for BS and hope that it, um, knocks the bags out, but we'll go for rough speed. Huh. I mean, this game's, like, starting to... It's not all ice bridges and popsicle obstacles, folks. Oh, my God. Well, we've got a, a nice happy helper chicken, what the crap. Oh man. Well, I'm actually quite satisfied with how well this game has just gone into the total wacky screen. Oh look, the helper chicken's thinking he's a good guy now. Come back here so we can freeze you. Yeah, that's what I think of your vigilante antics, chicken. Chickens should not be vigilantes, is, is that what I'm going for? Still, I mean, well, it's, it's always, I'm sure you've seen enemies like that, the guys who think they're helping, but, uh, actually aren't. Okay, so you just have to cover your escape? Huh. That's right. Clearly all modern games take took their cover mechanics from Mako games. Oh, but if we really want to gorge ourselves, then we have to work our way up to there. And again, with most arcade games, this would be, like, ridiculously difficult if you had to actually pay money while you were doing this. I mean, now we can just kind of enter credits with abandon, but, uh... Can you imagine seeing this in arcade, not figuring it out after a couple seconds, and just deciding it was not worth your quarters? Oh, but we still have to work our way up there anyway. Still, it's not, once you figure out that you have to cover your own escape, it's not any harder than just, um, timing it right, so. It's always kind of been a tricky issue in games, like kind of the turrets that uh, attack you. I mean, you've seen them in, like, Portal, but... Basically, it's a way to offer, like, a failure condition into a game, while still also being nice about it. Because as you see, the Portal, I mean, the turrets... They're a little bit, like, nice about things, like, you can kind of time it out. But at the same time, I mean, like, anywhere other than video games, and you wouldn't necessarily take that for granted. Like, if you've ever tried to act out, like, a boss fight in real life, with a sibling, perhaps, in your youth, I mean, you kind of realize, like, all of the timings and things that you take so for granted in video games, you can't really do that in real life. Oh. So I was thinking you make a nice pillar here, and then you can just happily kick it up, but, uh, nope. The game's too smart for that. On the bright side, at least those little ice guys can't seem to, uh, get past the block, whatever that is. So let's give them a nice kick, get some chaos going on here, and... Oh. Makes that easy enough. Oh, can, if I just stand here and press the button, will I be able to kick it up? Life ain't that easy, folks. Oh. Can't put the, um... Can't put the thing over there, put it there. It's actually kind of a delightful little puzzle game. 
I mean, each round, it's like, there's a clear gimmick. It's... And you're given, like, new things to play with. And, I mean, only mildly complicating the fact is that there are actually enemies that can hurt you. But at the same time, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. Because you can just put in more quarters and try again. I mean, it's... I feel like it's a little abstract from just, like, a pure puzzle game where, like, all you have to do is just do the mechanics and there isn't any way to die. Just because, I mean, there are the enemies and, like, they kind of mess you up a little bit. Although, then again, because, I mean, Kato owners got to make a buck. So, at the same time, I mean, I can kind of see why there are enemies, but I can definitely see why in more modernish games that, like, that whole element has just been removed. And while this genre of game has still been preserved. Actually, if you play Toki Tori, that's a pretty nice modern age puzzle game like this where there aren't really enemies that can kill you. I mean, they're... Oh, gosh. Speaking of enemies that can kill you, it's boss time! So, no ice pillars, just candy cones to take out this guy. Oh, that's nice. So you can... If you've noticed, there are springs everywhere, so you can free stuff and start kicking it around. Hitting him in the face doesn't seem to do much damage, but, um... Okay, so then we just set it up and watch it smack him. How villainous. Truly only the most clever of strategies will defeat this guy. Sadly, no ice pillars, so... Get out of the way before... You become the way? It's gonna take a while, but, uh... Oh, he, he even regrows tails. How nice of him. Oh, what happened if two blocks hit? I don't think it'll happen, but that would be pretty cool just to see it happen. Ah, sadly. Ooh, and even... Oh, okay, so his tail doesn't even change color, or change lengths, based on how much you nailed him. Oh, man. Our choice of bag? Evidently, we chose love. Oh, more cutscenes? Did you see his face halfway through the cutscene? I didn't want to make a noise, but I had to laugh at that. I didn't want to say anything, but I had to laugh at that. So, bomby. Oh, cool, and you even get little bonus points for, um... Oh, now we're collecting the yellow bags. A little bit prophetic. Well, I guess you can't freeze bombs. Or can you? Oh yeah, and you get, like, double bonus points for, um... Collecting, like, the ice cream with the blocks, which doesn't make any sense at all, because one would imagine you would get the most points from ice cream by eating it yourself. But, uh, whoa. Oh, God, that's terrible, because the enemies are faster than you. And in this game, where, like, you have essentially no real means of combating the enemy, like... Well, okay, you can fight the enemy, but the way you do it is a little clunky, a little imprecise, and definitely, um, improvised. So, you can't really effectively deal with the enemy. Oh gosh, this is just a mind bend. Okay... Really, so we just have to navigate a path. Well... I'm patient, how about you? She kind of reminds me of Bomberman, except with, like, less failure conditions. At least we get a nice little ice cream sundae for our efforts. Ah. I really kind of wish you could reposition, uh, blocks, but... No? Oh, cool! You can even collect the, uh, guys by kicking them. Which... Seems kind of ridiculous, but... Hey, when it's a game like this, you take all of the favorable mechanics you can take. Get. It's a good thing, okay? Uh, 
Well, I'm a little bit afraid that the game will start getting more and more and more tedious, because right now, all we basically have to do is just wait for um, enemies to respawn. And when you have to wait for enemies to respawn, then it starts taking a long time. When you, st when you start having to rely on what the enemies are doing, rather than, like, your own brain to figure out the puzzle game, then kind of lost too much interest to continue playing. Yeah, I can only assume that the levels start getting more and more tedious, and, like, they start... I mean, in the process of, like, trying out new things, eventually you try things like this where you have to rely on the enemy, but, um... I don't really like that enemy. I don't want to rely on that guy. Still, that was just the first 12 rounds, and hey, who knows? Maybe it gets really cool what's going on. So just kind of... So, I mean, it does seem like a cool game, and if you were into the genre, I mean, another game to, like, beat and test your puzzle wit on, that's, that's worth it in and of itself. It's got nice graphics, and it's, it's a good game overall, so... If, you, if you're a fan, then try it out. And, I mean, hey, made by Irem, how can you go wrong? Of course... The game doesn't have any sort of intro sequence, so if you're a collector of intro sequences, you will be severely disappointed. Have you ever just stared at, like, flashing lights long enough that, like... So obviously the pattern's moving the colors from left to right, but after a while, if you just stare at one, it just looks like it's just flashing different colors. Actually, if you stare long enough, you can make it go the other way, which... It's a little weird. Whoa. Well, on that note, this cat's got a scat.